I haven't spoken about it before, but um, this is a this is one of my books I published. Um, goodness me, back in twenty eighteen, I think this one was. Yeah, twenty eighteen. And uh, it's called uh, Oh No, It's Christmas, a book for the whole year, because I don't want anyone to read it on Christmas Day. I can read a chapter or maybe a couple of chapters if they want, but. I'd like them to read it over the twelve-month period. So the the storyline, um, it's you know short stories, all with a festive uh, connection. But they they don't all have to be read in the uh, during Christmas festivities or during the festive period. You see. But um, yeah, it's a pretty popular book. For anyone who's actually uh, taking the time to read it um, gives me quite pretty good compliments. Uh, I think that I actually surpassed that. Um, uh, I was surprised that I surpassed myself in uh, in my levels of uh, of uh, writing skills and uh, proofreading. I've done the whole thing myself, um, from uh, the first thought until it came off the pub, uh, the production line. Yeah, I was quite happy with this one. Anyway, it's on Amazon, but um, I gave. Um, I gave a few copies away initially, um, and I um, I wanted to do that to kind of promote the book. I gave a few, kind of here and there. Uh, some of them, these copies were signed, or most of them were signed actually. In fact, I gave one to my up and down friend um, this year, and uh, she was meant to get it beforehand, but um, unfortunately, uh, the way things were, the COVID and stuff, uh, it wasn't possible. So um, she ended up with the, the book in her hands, signed by me, the author, back in uh, late March of 2022. Now, my understanding of the uh, the book is not in the bookshelf. It's in the uh, recycle bin. Because what happens, my up and down friend often puts things that belong to me, uh, that have been given to her, <coughs> um, into the recycle bin. Um, so I can think of magazines that have published photographs, letters, and uh, obviously the uh, books um, straight into the recycle bin if she's having a, a bad day about me. But I, I, I don't really think it's anything to do with my up and down friend. I, th I think the whole uh, area of responsibility for this uh, actions falls on her mother superior, who did not uh, like um, the, uh, the, nun, the nuns in the convent having any possessions uh, whatsoever. So they were always um, discarded, i.e. put into the trash bin, recycle bin, or sometimes they were, had a, a mighty old bonfire in the, uh, the garden, along with some of the, uh, you know, the, the clippings from the raspberry and uh, blackberry bushes and stuff like that uh, when they dried off in the autumn um, they would set fire to it and put all the uh, the stuff from the the nuns uh, wardrobes and um, any gifts that they received over the preceding 12 months were normally put onto the bonfire that's what she told me but um, <clears throat> so this uh, habit of up and down putting um, magazines books, photographs, letters and anything that um, reminds me or it reminds her of me, <laughs> goes into the recycle bin. And um, what she doesn't know, though, is that, well, she's not mentioned it, so I think she slipped up um, about the £500 that was contained in the envelope. I think she's um, she's made a huge error. Uh, she's um, tipped uh, the whole thing into the recycle bin and then... Uh, this was not inside the book, this was in, 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 inside another box. And I think she's put it straight into the recycle bin. And um, along with the envelope containing 500 crisp £20 notes. So I don't know, because she's not mentioned it, so I'm, I'm assuming that's what's happened. She's um, discarded them uh, out of a moment's rage and hasn't thought through uh, of the consequences of uh, tipping out a gift box into the recycle bin uh, because it was connected to me. 
But um, the book itself um, has uh, lots of um, comedy, and um, there is. Um, I mean, it's it, it's not not dedicated to any specific period uh, of time, but most of the stories are written to the present day, so that people can, uh, you know, uh, make connections with them quite easily. There are a few stories um, contained in the book, which. Uh, Really, is a lot, takes a lot of imagination to construct these uh, stories, and hopefully, uh, anyone reading them will, will uh, obviously sit back and think, "Well, it takes a good mind to think something like that up of, of something of that originality." Uh, so it's a well well worth uh, looking at this book. As I say, it's on Amazon, and this is the title, so you can write it down and. Uh, get yourself onto Amazon and you make that purchase and um, obviously the costs of uh, publications have gone up but uh, as far as I know the publishers themselves um, have held the price fairly, fairly steadily over the last three years so if you get that under £10 still uh, then you're doing pretty good f as far as uh, a book of such high quality uh, with so many um, pages in, in the book uh, and obviously something you can read uh, over and over again because it doesn't lose its humour. It is uh, like a good movie which you thoroughly enjoyed. Sometimes you like to p take it back out of the, the box set and uh, look at it all over again because it was so good. Well, that's my book as well. Uh, and that's only one of my books that I'm uh, talking about just now. But as I say, Up and Down Friend has not commented on any part of the literature. Uh, and I can only assume that because of the actions of Mother Superior, um, she has then followed through, taking the book as a, a gift, with the element of gratitude. I have to say she was rather um, joyous and joyful when she uh, received that copy, the signed copy from me. But as I say, probably a couple of days later, in a moment of rage, she has uh, gone straight to the recycle bin and uh, thrown it out possibly tearing some pages apart in the process. Perhaps just the book cover uh, was ripped off in a moment of anger. But uh, who knows? But um, if um, if you want to get a copy of the book, it's not just available on Amazon. You can uh, look to get uh, copies through any good bookseller, including uh, Waterstones or uh, the Book Depository. Uh, these are, are fine examples of where you can obtain that book. Just ask. Uh, and any good bookshop will be able to uh, uh, you know, obtain a copy for you and we can do that in good time for Christmas if it's not for yourself, if it's for somebody else that you want to buy it for then this is the right time to do that to ensure delivery uh, well before Christmas and then you can put that uh, into a uh, well it won't be a Christmas stocking because uh, it's difficult enough to get a tangerine inside a uh, a normal stocking these days, or even a, you know, I'm, I'm talking about stockings, I'm not to talking about lady stockings, I'm talking about socks. Um, I don't know if people still put socks on the mantelpiece. It wasn't a very clever idea anyway, because um, most houses had uh, open fires back in the, the day, and uh, dangling socks from the mantelpiece onto the open fire was never a, a bright idea, especially when the, the family were retiring to bed in the evening, so not sure who thought that one up. But anyway, if you um, if you can't get a a, a sock, um, you know something like a a bin bag or something like that. Um, I mean, I think you do actually get socks, which uh, are in the the size of a of a bin bag uh, for people with rather large uh, swollen ankles and bunions on their toes. So uh, bear that in mind as well. But um, yeah, so if you um, get a, that book and get that sent off. You can actually order it as a gift and then you can follow the, the process of getting that book sent to your favourite friend or your uh, family member who wishes to, to get that done. Uh, but as I say, I can't make any comments about Up and Down because uh, as far as I'm aware, she hasn't read one single word of it. She just uh, um, was furious one day, I'm sure, and uh, put it straight in the recycle bin. Um, with a couple of uh, torn parts from the, the book, uh, Outer Edges, the cover, and uh, was probably bashed about a wee bit on the wall as well. 
So that's it. it it's, as I say again, it's, uh, it's um, Oh No, It's Christmas, a book for the whole year, and it's by myself. So look forward to that. Thank you. Yeah, I've contacted um, up and down friend to see if she wants to add any comments to the uh, information I was giving about uh, so much stuff ending up in the recycling bin. And uh, although she was quite reluctant to add anything to what she's already told me, she did agree that most gifts uh, that I've given her, like books, magazines, cards, photographs, and uh, other trinkets, have all ended up in the recycle bin. And I'm talking primarily about the, the book that we're discussing, uh, Oh No, It's Christmas, um, a book for the whole year by A.S. Brock, my book. But she said, uh, well, the only thing she would add was that um, it was all down to Mother Superior, as we had already established. Um, Mother Superior in the convent uh, not willing to allow the the nuns and the trainee nuns to have any personal um, knickknacks within the dorms. But uh, what she did say was that um, the uh, Mother Superior would uh, often, quite often, she said, beat her over the head with a toothbrush. <laughs>